Angel Slash is one of my least familiar matchups, but let's talk about it anyway. I'll go over what I do know. Still at a crossroads of what support to pick. Uh, I've been told that Mogo is pretty good for getting Angel Slash out of shield form, but I'm not too experienced with that, so I just stick with Eevee because since H Slash only has 510 HP, you can kill it pretty quickly. It goes super far across the screen. So you see that this is the regular range. And that's when you are enhanced, or some people call it sharp. This is minus 24 on block if they don't have the enhanced. But you can always tell that they are enhanced because they're going to have that little thing on top of them that shows that they have the stat up. When they are enhanced, it is plus 8. Now, note that this is an 11 frame startup move. So if you do like, if you do vortex and they block it and you try to homing cancel, the V is going to hit you before you can homing cancel because it takes too long to go through that animation. So you've only got three frames, you're going to get hit. Side Y is pre pretty annoying to get hit by because it goes pretty far. Just try to stay out of that range. Now speaking of obnoxious moves, one of the things a lot of Age of Slash do that's incredibly annoying is they will just not care and just start homing from like halfway across the screen. And this homing is pretty fast. So if you can react to it, if you're paying attention, then you can counter. But if the opponent has like a speed up, it can be really hard to react to that homing with the counter. And sometimes if you start countering it really late, then they'll go ahead and poke through all the rest of your counter frames. If you do end up blocking the homing, a lot of Age of Slice are going to start going for this stuff. Fury Cutter mix-ups, or they're just going to go straight for the homing 1, 2, 3. Now, here's what you do against the Fury Cutter stuff. Okay, so you see this? When you're first playing... When you first start playing against Edge of Slash, all this stuff like looks the same, right? So this is how you deal with it. When you start blocking Fury Cutter, when it pauses like that, that is 5 AA X. So right there, that is 5 AA X. And that move is minus 8 on block. Now, that, when they have all that purple stuff and they do it really quickly, that is 5 A A A. That is minus 12. So let me show. You can't grab this. They can go for a homing cancel, and then you're going to get hit. But that, you can grab. Now, the problem is... How do you know which one is coming out? You can't counter to stop both of them. But what you can do is use actually what Twixie was talking about a while ago, which is you can perfect block, but first you do an extended state. So check this out. What you're really trying to do is time you releasing the button, releasing R, right when Agent Slash is doing that last slash. So right after you block the two hits, that's when you want to release R. And then once you would be blocking that third hit right there with all the purple, the 5 AAA, that's when you would homing cancel really quickly. So let's see if we can demonstrate this. Do a perfect block, and then you'll be able to punish that. You can go with minus 8. And if I'm letting go long enough, then, right, exactly. I'll be able to auto block that. But still perfect block that. So just get used to the timing. You got to practice it. What? Oh, an extended stay helped me out right there. So I actually do thank Twixie for that. It's a very practical application of that. And hopefully the stick cam actually came in handy. So that's the exact time that you need uh, to be able to use a defensive option select to deal with um, the different uh, variations of Fury Cut. So just remember that uh, the 5AAA, that is minus 12. But 5AAX, that is... Minus 8, but you can perfect block it. Now, for regular homing, you just want to treat this like any other homing. Usually, the best thing to do is like let go of the stick after you start blocking it. So that you'll auto-block the last hit. And then if they start charging the last hit, then you'll be able to interrupt. So, let's say that I have them go for a fully charged. 
There you go. Alright, perfect. So again, extended state. You'll block that. Ah, and I did a little bit too late there. Held, or I let go and I didn't press X early enough. There you go, right there. Alright. Ah, excellent. That's the timing. So practice the extended state into perfect blocking against Fury Cutter, but also practice extended state into homing to deal with fully charged counter attack. So it's going to take a lot of training mode to really get used to it, but it's really worth it, I feel like. And even I need to work on it a lot because I don't get to play Age of Slash very much, so I haven't been labbing as much as I should be. Another annoying thing that Age of Slash like to do a lot is they like to go into the uh, shield form, which will absorb your projectiles. The thing with this is if so, for example, let's say you did a side Y and then you miracle it, and then you see them do this. It takes a while for them to go into that animation now, so you can whip punish it. But if they actually are absorbing a projectile, then they make this big old shield come out. Let me see if I can uh, demonstrate that. See that gigantic shield? If you touch it while it's doing that, you can't really do anything about it. You just gotta hold that. Even if you try to... And then when they go into shield form, they have counter armor the entire time they're in shield form. Uh, I can talk a little bit about that also. They have access to some different moves. So, they have this laser, which is really obnoxious. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Now, you can grab Aegislash out of shield form. But a lot of times, people don't want to get grabbed, so they'll just start pressing stuff to avoid getting grabbed out of shield form. Because they can't attack in it. And they can aim this beam uh, upwards also, so if you try to jump over. Usually, you just want to wait for them to commit to something, though. If they go for A, that's the little shadow sneak, that will take them out of the shield form. And they can still homing while they're in shield form. It's just a different like animation and they can just press uh, B to cancel their shield form so they're never really committed to it too hard they can always just hop right back out of it and it'll give them that sharp buff and they can do back A which will give them the miss and the miss is particularly dangerous in uh, dual phase but what this does is when they go back into shield form it explodes it so uh, let me just show in dual phase if they have this missed out and they go for an 8Y, which is normally punishable, it will make that stuff explode, so you can't actually punish it on block. So I can demonstrate that a little bit later. One of the more obnoxious moves in field face is the forward A. That's a laser, which is super annoying. Now the thing is, transitions them after it's done. So if you can like jump away and make it whip, you can still punish them. And on block, it's minus 24, so you can grab it if you're close up, or you can go for like a homing, but you have to be pretty close to do that. Uh, usually, if you're just jumping and avoiding it, though, uh, as you can see, the angle of this move... You can often jump to the side, and uh, you can avoid it, um, but... Um, if you're jumping away from this, and then they go for, like, this laser, then you can punish them coming down, because they're gonna transition out of their counter armor uh, when they're leaving that form. I think the main thing with Age of Slash is you're going to want to see if you can bait out this. So throw some side Ys and then Miracle Eye them and see if you can forward Y to punish this. Otherwise, when you get them into shield form, you want to get close to them and make them want to pop out of it. If they never press any buttons at all, you can grab them. But they're almost always going to press a button. So um, that's when you want to try to jump away and try to get them to do something like... Again, throw out that laser at you, or any of those other moves. And then uh, if you can jump over those, and then they transition out, then you can you can hit it while it's transitioning. But honestly, even myself, I have a lot of work to do as far as dealing with Age of Slash and Field Phase. So I'm going to be getting in a lot of matches, and I'll update this guide uh, in text uh, as I learn new things. 